Okay, it's working. I'm always surprised when it's working. No one's here, but hello. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Not here, by the way. Lurking. Are all our emotes still active? If you get an emote slot and you lose that amount of subs that you used to have, do you just keep that slot forever if that's how it works? Because if so, that's neat. I've been sat here with the stream open all day to catch this. Ooh, the stream almost didn't happen. Sorry, would have let you down. Hey, Trat, how's it going? So we're continuing control because uh, apparently it's not that long. Hey, soft lump. And um, yeah, I guess uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm hearing mixed things about the ending. Some people say that it gets better as it goes on. Other people say it gets worse. Some people say the best gameplay is toward the end and the story and concept gets better. Other people say that the ending's kind of a letdown. So. Uh, I'm interested to see what that is. Right now, I feel like the gameplay is really boring, and I'm not enjoying that part of it at all. And I really don't enjoy running around the same sort of office kind of rooms over and over and over again, finding little bonuses to equip or notes to read. It's not really my thing. I feel like I have to scour for very little, but it's also triggering my OCD a little bit. I shouldn't say that because I'm not really OCD, but you know what I mean. But I should just say obsessive nature, that's better. Um, triggers my obsessiveness a bit that I feel like I'm missing out, even though whenever I find something, it's usually not worth it. <laughs> Elcor, how you doing? I'm currently pooping. Oh, enjoy your poop. It's not 4 a.m. though. Sorry for asking this. Asking us a lot, but have you heard of Druidstone? It's a turn-based strategy game closer to Into the Breach than something like XCOM. I have heard of Druidstone, and we might play it at some point. It's on my wish list on Steam, I think. That looked interesting to me, uh, because of the Into the Breach sort of thing. Uh, so, I'm going to just... There's a few people here now. So, um, I'm going to return to saying thank you to subs, and to any people that donate bits. But I am not going to be reading messages so i think that's a compromise and i think that's better for everyone because i feel bad not saying thank you but at the same time there have been many times in the past where um a, a large portion of the stream is just reading messages and i don't think that's for the best i think we should probably be focusing on playing the games so i will say thank you like i am right now thank you my thumb 665 for the resub thank you very much and that'll be it and i and i hope that's a good compromise that will appease my Canadianness and also make people feel that they aren't slighted, but I'm, I'm not reading messages that accompany them. So I hope that's okay. I'll probably have to repeat that a few times too. Opinions on the Tool album. I listened to it once yesterday while contending with uh, screaming kids in the room with me. Um, I thought it was kind of dull and I was disappointed. So I would like to listen to it a couple more times, uh, preferably with headphones on instead of speakers. Uh, but the only song I really, really liked was Tempest. Uh, the other ones felt kind of meh. Um, Fear Inoculum, the title track, kind of, kind of, I grew, I liked it quite a bit when I first heard it because it felt like, oh, this sounds just like Lateralis. And then the more I listened to it, the more I was like, yeah, it actually really just sounds like they're just retreading Lateralis in a really bad way. So I don't know. We'll see. I really like the latest A Perfect Circle album. I have very normie taste on music. You shouldn't listen to me on music. You shouldn't listen to me on anything, really. <laughs> but uh, especially not with music. <laughs> I don't understand music. Uh, there's a people talking about the new two albums, like, oh, the, those those uh, multiple layer drum rhythms that Danny can do. And I'm like, I liked how it sounded. You know, like, I don't I don't care. Like, I, I really, really don't care. I, I And I like that I don't care because I like that music is this mystery to me and that I don't have to 
you know, study it or, or need something really dense to enjoy it. I just like something that, that sounds good. I think you piv cal piv cled piv k l e d for the nine one three sub. Thank you very much. Or ten ten one three sub. I'm sorry. Thank you Slurpin for the new sub of Prime. Thank you very much. And thank you Trat for the twenty two month resub. Thank you very much, Trat. So in case you just got here, I'm saying thank you, but I'm not reading messages. And if you were here for the first one, that's not the first time you're gonna hear me saying that again. Some people have compared Dark Siders three to Dark Souls. What's your thoughts on that? I haven't played Dark Siders three, so I don't know. Sorry. Maybe we'll play at some point. What am I drinking? I am drinking a, a glass bottle Coca-Cola. That's what I'm drinking. I'm almost done with it. Literally, literally as I tune in, if you just got here, good timing. <laughs> uh, thank you, David, on Twitch for the 6.3 sub as well. Thank you, David, on Twitch. Oof, nice glass bottle, every other color. Yeah, I think glass bottle is better too. It adds to it. Okay, so Control is, in case you weren't here for the first stream, Control is a third person shooter. Do you guys recycle? Yes, we do, yeah. Actually, we recycle so much that uh, we have a, a backup of recycling right now and we don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, that, that that's a problem to explain for another day. Um, yeah, so this Control is a third person shooter in a SCP kind of facility type place in New York City. This building we're in is called the Oldest House and it can change its shape and there are SCP style artifacts that give you powers. One gave us this dodge that we have right now. Another one gave us the ability to pick up things like this and throw them with energy at the top. Um, oh, the dodge takes energy. I didn't notice that the first time. Uh, and also Q, we can press that and make a shield to block us from bullets. And the gun itself is also an artifact that can change shape, and I forget how I change it. Do I hit tab? No. Two. Mouse button while aiming. R. No. F. F. That's it. I got it. I knew that all along. Uh, so it can change its shape, and um, right now it's like a pistol, and then it's a shotgun, and it's really loud for me. I'm going to turn it down. And it's a pseudo open world sort of thing. So here's the map. And right now we're next to the furnace chamber. And um, you can run around and explore. And it's uh, honestly, it's a bit crap. I'm not going to lie. Like, it, the game is a bit crap. Um, I really like the setting and I like the, the, the style and the tone of the story so far. But I don't know enough about the story yet to, to say if it's going to end well. Uh, but as is. Most of you probably know gameplay is the big thing that I'm interested in and the gameplay is kind of crap You know even though the setting is so interesting the enemies are just humanoid enemies that shoot at you and and uh, Fly around a bit and it's really easy and I don't know uh, It's a bit crap, but we'll see Are you thinking of finishing this or do you think this will be the last stream of it? Uh, I hear it's really short So I think we're gonna finish it, but if I'm really bored by the end of the stream then we won't finish it Also, I saw this in the options. I was messing around with ray tracing and I couldn't get it to work. Uh, for whatever reason, like OBS says that it's running well, but it's not. Uh, it's There's no drop frame, CPU isn't isn't capped, and frames per second is stuck at 60. And uh, for whatever reason, it just chugs like crazy. Uh, it chugs more than Thomas the Tank Engine. It was really, really bad. Uh, not when I'm, I'm playing the game, it's fine. It's just chugging on, on OBS and on the recording. Uh, so with all of it on, it was horrible. With three of them off, just these two on, it was okay, but it was still pretty bad. So I just turned it off. But I saw this and this was interesting. Mute copyrighted music. So yeah, um, I've never seen that in the game before. I hope we're not gonna miss out on on some moment with that off. Are you gonna play replay Persona 5 all over again with the Royal version? Yep, we are. Yep. We're probably gonna play three, then four, and then Royal at some point. Not um like in a row. We'll take take a break, but yeah. Oh, you also have a melee attack? V? V. 
V, 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 V. Uh, and the controls with keyboard are honestly a bit awkward. Uh, I think it might be better with a gamepad with all of these abilities that you have and everything, but uh, I prefer shooting with a mouse and keyboard, so we're gonna stick with that. And there's a lot of um, things to pick up and read that we've decided not to do anymore. Some of it was decent, but I just, I, I don't wanna read for the whole stream. Oh, okay, that hurts. What if we throw something in it? Okay. So, do we come back here later, or can we get through here? Uh, it looks like we can get through there. Okay. Can we... By crash, did Ati need barrels full of hazardous biological material? Oh, okay, it's a quest. It's a quest. It seems like they're breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants... That's what Ati get gets. Wasn't it a side quest to throw trash in the room in, in the furnace? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Sorry. So it's gonna be about three streams a week until Witcher's done. I think that it would be better if they were in a row. Do you guys agree with that? So I can't fix the NSC energy converters. Uh, I, like I can't guarantee streams on any days because of you know just life being a new parent again. Um, but. I would prefer them in a row. So my guess would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Anyone got a problem with that? Or, I, I, or maybe one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't really like streaming on Friday. And honestly, I don't really like streaming on the weekend either. Uh, I find that weekend streams usually don't go that well. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is what we'll try. But, you know, it might be different days. But that, that'll be the goal. My name is Dr. Okay, I'll listen to, to these things. Omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself. Okay, right there's an entity noses. right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. What? It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? What do they eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Whoa. Damn. The lights went out all of a sudden there. Uh, thank you, EZG, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. And thank you, Prince of Puddles, for the six month resub. Thank you very much, Prince of Puddles. Okay, there's one more that we missed somewhere. And that's the streamer we, by the way. And just like old times, it's gonna be staring right in front of me, and I'm still not gonna be able to see it. All right, can I make can I make a like a a stack, hello neighbor style? Okay, how do I put something down without throwing it? Um, aim the gun. No. Okay. So is is there any way to do that? F. F. All right. God, I'm 
so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Oh, here's the thing. Nice. Did I learn dash yet? Yes, I did. Yep. Two ability points received. Okay, so that didn't look like it had a key card. So how do we open that? Is there like follow the wire type thing or do we come back through here later? Probably, okay. All right, so let's go to, let's fast travel to ventilation. Because uh, this isn't Witcher 3, so I'm allowed to fast travel. All right, so let's go, we can't. Oh, you have to use the, the, the menu, okay. What do I think of the game? It's, uh, it's okay, it's not, it's not great, it's not terrible, it's okay. It's going to depend on how it builds on the concepts it's given so far and how it ends. And I feel like I'm really strong and I prefer it in games where I feel... I feel weak because then I feel more like myself in real life and I get to be more connected to the game. So I, I don't know, I just, like, combat is just nothing to me. It's it's just a big nothing. So we'll see how it goes. Janitor's office, okay, am I going the wrong way? This map is confusing to me. Okay, where can I see the quests I have? Missions. Okay, so mission briefings, and these are completed. So this is the only mission I have right now, and it seems like it's right here. I'm, I'm guessing that's what the, the yellow is on the map. Did I miss a path up here when I fast shoveled in? I'm guessing that's it, and I'm just being dumb, but I thought I found the, the janitor in this room. Hmm. This looks like the way. Kick it 50 times. Oh, good reference. Good reference. Takes us back to the Odyssey. Do I go around? We went down, we went down through the thing. And we fixed the power plant with the coolant pumps, right? So maybe that would have opened the place to go. So maybe we go back through the power plant through one of those doors down to the janitor's office and then we come through a different area instead of coming back here. I'm guessing that's it. Sorry, I didn't play this again after we, we streamed it, so I'm getting my bearings again. All right, let's go. Let's go back to where we were before, and then we'll travel to the to the big place. Okay, so we're going up here. Uh, thank you for the seven three sub, uh, Kieran Soul. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This one's open, but there's nothing in here. We already, oh, we already got this, okay. Okay, so I'm thinking that there's a path down somewhere. Maybe maybe that's an elevator over there. We go in there. 
That's death. This is the fast travel point. That's where the weird guy that looks like he's from Grim Dawn is in. And we speak, spoke to him. And we didn't go over here, I don't think. And there's a door over there. Locked door down there. And there's a door over there, which we came through on our way back. But maybe there's, maybe that's a... Look alive. Maybe that leads somewhere else. Elevator, maybe we use that one. So I think this is where we just were. We were coming through here after we went to ventilation. Okay, so let's try the other door, and if not, we'll go back to the elevator and try that. Will you play a bit of WoW Classic? I've already played a bit of WoW Classic, and I'm giving up on it because I don't have the time. I, I just... I'm, I'm very unsatisfied with the experience because I feel I need to really, really commit to it. And uh, like the idiot that I am, I chose to level up a warrior, and that's just the worst Classic experience ever. Um, so I just... I, I'm not... I give up on it. I just don't have the time to do it. Maybe after uh, Witcher's done, I can I can spend some time doing it. But I've already done it too. It's like it's not even a new experience for me. I played vanilla. Just hold together a little longer. It is cool to experience that again, though. Would you guys want me to stream WoW Classic? Because I don't think so. Oh, we go here? What? Okay, I don't understand this map at all. Yeah, now I was Resident Evil, but yeah, I, I figured that was the case. Streaming Classic WoW would be kind of like streaming Path of Exile. If you're not doing something interesting with it, then the game itself is kind of boring. Good free Q&A stream. So I find that enemies in this game uh, stagger quite heavily from attack, so it's not good to just like pound them with bullets. It's better to just be more methodical about your shooting, or I'm just terrible, but that's how I that's how I've settled on it now. Or just don't shoot him, just hit him with your force like force ability jet, I think. Whoops. Okay, we got him. Streaming I was like streaming uh, C span. <laughs> Uh, someone hit 60 yesterday, which is just amazing. I heard that there was some layering exploitation done to do it, but I don't know if that's true or not. Layering is, um, uh, while World of Warcraft uses phasing to make sure that people don't overload the areas in the game. Uh, WoW Classic did not have that, and to, so WoW Classic, sorry, Vanilla didn't have that. WoW Classic has a different version called layering, which is kind of, um, like phasing but you're stuck on the same layer supposedly unless you get invited to a different group so i heard there was some manipulation with that but i don't know if it's true or not have i played psyops no i haven't i've heard of that though but i've never played it any plans to play man of medan probably that looks like a fun time grim dawn was a really good stream so grim dawn until dawn was a really good stream so we'll uh we'll stream that for sure at some point i uh, thank you messio for the new sub Welcome to the Dragon's Den, Messio. Been a while since I said that. And thank you, Crocano861, for the 23 month resub. Holy crap. How long have we been streaming for now? I mean, like, there's been months where there hasn't been streams, so. Uh, 
Just more like a, when did streams start? Do I want to play Astral Chain? It looks decent. Um, if the Switch was available to me right now, I'd probably be streaming that, but uh, it's been claimed by Finn. Lately, he's been playing Stardew Valley. He doesn't understand it. Uh, he can't read. Well, he, he can recognize some, some bits and pieces, uh, but he uh, he just likes to walk around. He calls it the, the house game, but he doesn't say house properly, so he says Faust, so he says, he calls it the Faust game. Daddy, you want to play Faust game? <laughs> Who is his best girl? Uh, Baby Kate. Did he learn to say 14? Yes, he did, yeah. But sometimes he still slips a bit. Okay, so are these extra ones or does every energy cube need an energy receptacle? Looks like no. games have I been cheating on you with, honest with? Uh, not much. Probably the big one would be Sakura, right? Hmm. I'm trying to think. No, I can't think of anything else. Do you think a mobile game would ever intrigue you enough to do a video on it? I really don't think so. It's, I mean, it's possible. Anything's possible. We ended up enjoying Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so anything's possible. You need to play Astral Chain in Xenoblade Chronicles, but with good combat. This is what we came here to do. Oberdin? Yeah, I, I cheated on you with Oberdin for sure. Wait, is Astral Chain got a got a stupid, crazy, funny story like Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Because if so, then yeah, for sure. Triss or Yen, neither. For Geralt, Yen, though. But for me, neither. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. Me too. I agree with I'll that. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Still don't know if she's talking directly to us or if there's someone else riding with her that... I mean, it, it really feels like it should be that she's talking to us, but it feels like whoever she's talking to has been with her for a while, so I probably missed something in that room. Any interest in playing the Zero Escape games? Yeah, we'll probably stream them at some point. There's a lot of games on the stream list, uh, but there's some that have to be done sooner than others. Okay, so have all the doors been open now? Um, yeah, now we can get in here. 
Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Let's go see if that door's open. In the other place. David Cage Marathon went after Witcher. No, these are these are still closed. Okay, let's go. What's coming up soon with the stream list? I don't know what's coming up soon. We are going to be playing new games as they come out or games that I have wanted to try that have come out recently, but nothing too dense. Just let's see what this is all about and see if something is good for a couple streams or not. And then big story streams. I feel like this, uh, most of you prefer when we do story stream, is story games. That we can dig into something and, and go along for the ride together instead of um, clearance level 5. We don't have clearance level 5. Instead of uh, really heavy gameplay games. There are exceptions, but I feel like the story ones are better. And uh, if we're going to do story streams, I want to be able to stream uh, at least 5 hours and more than 3 times a week. So after The Witcher is done, we're going to be streaming a lot more. I'm going to take a break from video making for a bit, and then we're going to be streaming. Uh, where are we going? Executive sector, I think? Have you seen anything on Outer Wilds? One of my favorite games of the year so far. Major Subnaka Vice Tournament. Yeah, I've, I've heard really good things, and we'll play that too. Some people recommended that for a blind stream. Do I wear glasses? If if so, would you share the brand you use? Uh, I wear contacts now. That's a recent development. I used to wear glasses, but I also didn't wear glasses because I just really don't like wearing my glasses. So I was supposed to wear glasses, but I just didn't. But now I have contacts. I'm getting used to them. Uh, but... the hiss uh the other night uh were the first time ever one, one of the contact lenses got stuck under my eyelid when i was trying to take it out and i got really freaked out and i almost swore them off but i got it out and i was like yeah it was my own fault i was being an idiot i didn't pull it out properly so i'm okay i was really Jesse, scared <laughs> and you lifted the internal lockdown let's talk emily yes of course Oh my god, it sounds painful. It wasn't painful, it was just really uncomfortable and my eye was watering like crazy and I was panicking, thinking I was gonna have to go to the emergency room to have someone fish it out of my eye. But I got it out. Listen, Emily. Not good at pulling out, huh? Well, I have three kids, so yeah. Take Screw that for what you will. Just tell her. All right, here we go, I'll shut up. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The Ordinary's the town she grew up in. Doorways to other places. Was that censored? Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. What's the name of the game? But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something a being a being what kind of being <laughs> it's literally you it's hard to describe but it <laughs> she helped us she we managed to turn the projector off honestly it could still the be you things that came through the doorways were gone after that your people came tried to grab us I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. 
I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. Hmm. I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. Okay, so it's not us. But maybe we're playing as this being. I call her Polaris. Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? Yes. If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Oh, how many midichlorians do we have? In the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. Exactly. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. Is Marshall Dylan? So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. Yeah, especially if he is Dylan. I need to go after her. Oh, her. How okay, it's not. Center. It's not Marshall. Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. Is is one of the people that work here, Dylan? What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. Oh shit. And when time comes, we owe Zeus. I will come calling. Ati can hear our thoughts, by the way, and Jesse just doesn't even respond to it. When Jesse does her internal monologue in front of Ati, Ati is the, the janitor guy. Um he, he responds to her thoughts, and Jesse doesn't seem disturbed by it, so I don't know what that's all about. Hold G to activate. Whoa, we have a time limit? Really? Uh, really? Uh, okay. We were just there, right? Do, 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 do. Maintenance sector, uh, access corridor. Let's go to maintenance sector. Do, 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 do. Uh, thank you, Tim Foyle, for the 18 month reset. Thank you very much, Tim Foyle. Thank you, Super Stickman22, for the one year reset. Thank you, Super Stickman. That reminds me of that Superland game that looks interesting. And thank you for the bits, Anton1699. 205 bits. Thank you very much, Anton. Uh, it's been a while since I said it, but yeah, I'm back to saying thank you to people for um, for subs and bits, but I'm not reading the messages that come with them, so we don't get bogged, on, bogged down with it. Hopefully that's a good, uh, a good middle ground. Does the gunplay in this game feel as flat as it looks? Kind of wish they would double down on the powers and made them more skill based. Yeah, it, it really is flat. Um, it's sort of damning considering these are the same people that made Max Payne 1 and 2, which has quite simple combat, but it's very. I, th I think the combat in, in those games is very satisfying, even though it only has like a, a one trick that it does over and over and over again, and we walked past the door, didn't we? Um, this feels worse than Max Payne 1 and 2. I haven't played Max Payne 3, but they didn't make Max Payne 3.
I like the messages a lot. Actually, I know some people did, and uh, I like reading them out too, but some days it was a lot. Uh, and especially if I take breaks, when I come back, there's just a whole stream or two that is just non-stop messages. So maybe if streaming stays regular or after The Witcher, we'll, um, we'll go back to reading everything out if I can stay on top of it. Eliminate key hiss targets. Don't take the hiss. Oh, this is just go back and do the same fighting in the same room you just cleared. How are you still alive? Like Star Lord. So is the combat actually fun or no? It's it's really not. It's not. It's not anti-fun. You know, like it's not. It's not bad, but it's just not. It's not anything special. Is he regenerating faster than I can shoot him? Should we spend some of our ability points? Oh, we can't do that unless we're at a bonfire. Shit. Oh, we're dead. Okay. What time is it for you? I asked because you stream during my school hours. Uh, we're uh, one hour ahead of Eastern time. Even though we shouldn't be because we're in that same area. The orb is healing him. Is it is it area wide? Because there were other ones earlier that weren't really close to those orbs and they were being healed. Oh, did we lose that forever now? Oh, that sucks. They have a plus sign on their HP. Yeah, I knew they were regenerating, but I, I figured that was just part of the encounter instead of the orbs giving that to them because there were ones on the third floor really far away from the orbs that were getting it. Have you watched the new 10, new 10 minutes of Cyberpunk 2077 footage? No, I haven't watched any of that. I don't want to. I'm, I've already decided I'm going to play that game, so I'm not going to watch any of the trailers. Okay, so there are dudes in here, but the quest has failed. I didn't watch any of the new Death Stranding trailers either. What? Oh, he must have moved after he shot me. Okay. I didn't see him. Alright, so... Yeah, that sucks. We can't do that quest. I'm a little annoyed.
wonder if we could have fast traveled down here instead of taking the elevator too. Do you think you'll play Death Stranding? Yep, yeah, for sure. Uh, thank you, CB Turk, for the uh, 20 month resub. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Wonku, for the thousand bits. Um, okay, if it's a thousand bits, I have to read it. I'm sorry. I know that's that might sound scummy, but I have to read it. It's a thousand bits. Uh, Hoi Joe, just finished reading Monster Slayer Season 2. I'm so glad I did not stop after The Wizard and the Dragon. Is there any plan about finishing the series? Probably already answered in Patreon, but I haven't seen it. I pirated the books. So you <laughs> go <somewhere. laughs> Uh Fast Tricks, Amazon. Uh, I love you. Yeah, we'll finish it one day, but uh, it's not on the cards at the moment. Sorry. Too busy uh, with channel stuff. All right, we need to uh, up upgrade our damage if we can. Or our health. Our energy is pretty good. Let's get some more energy. Thank you very much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Launch damage is pretty good too. Let's get launch damage. We use launch a lot. We got a personal slot. And let's get some more health. Shield. I don't really like the shield. Okay, there's two more abilities that we get. We can't get it. We need three, even though it's the second. It's on the second line. Okay, uh, let's wait and we'll get that one. Astral constructs mods. Okay, so this is crafting, which I eh. random, random, random weapon forms construct spin. Okay, let's make it. And then we can change things while we're in here, right? Load out, shatter. So spin, I'm guessing, is like a machine gun. Yeah, okay. I like I like, uh, I like like machine guns. I like rapid fire, so we'll go with that. Uh, I quite like the shotgun too, but we'll, we'll stick with this one for now. And we want to probably put a weapon mod on it. Damage boost. Against enemy armor, just damage flat. That seems like it would be better, just have more damage. Energy gain from headshots. You gain energy for headshots? Let's do that one. And we got a new mod. Launch energy cost, health recovery, energy cost 10. 10% uh, with our new energy might be good, but maybe we just want more energy total. Energy recovery speed is pretty good too. Let's go with that, okay. Thoughts on the new two album uh, sounds like B-Sides from Lateralis. I am out. Yeah, I spoke about it earlier. Yeah, I don't really like it. The only song I liked was Tempest. Um, the other ones were okay, but yeah, I, I just I feel like I don't have the, the necessary musical knowledge to appreciate it, so that's uh that's it for me. Okay, that's where we are. Dead letters, and there's no objective on the map for us. So let's go back to the uh, central executive and we'll make our way from there. What is good third-person shooting? I thought the Division Wildlands had the best available, but people are telling me that was shit too. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know what game has the best third-person shooting. I enjoyed the shooting in Max Payne 1 and 2 that we spoke about earlier. I am drawing a complete blank on another good game with third-person shooting, but there's gotta be one. Maybe we even played it on stream. Gears of War? I don't like Gears of War. I really don't like Gears of War. Alright, where's research? Research parapsychology. I heard the Hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot Maybe she knows. Maybe I should ask her. The Hiss or Hi, Jesse. No. See you soon. Be careful out there. Remnants. Remnants shooting felt okay, yeah. Not too bad. Okay, I guess we're going back into the elevator and we'll see. Can I see the rest of the maps here? Or no, I can't. Alright, let's go fast travel and look at the other map. I'm sorry that I'm lost. Like, I, I don't know. I'm finding it hard to get around this game. Don't blame the game. Blame me. Like, is it over here? I feel like it would be on the map. 
access corridor. Did she say it and I just didn't pay attention? This is where we are. Directors, of the affairs, hotline chamber, cafeteria, dead letters, communications department, pneumatics, uh, field training, central, da, 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 and see ventilation, and see cool points. What do you mean? It has to be and the mission. Elevator. Oh, is it a different, a different uh, option on the elevator? Okay. Reach your sector, and we haven't gone to the containment sector either. Okay, can I go down to the containment sector and just get the map real quick? Okay, we got this map now. I would like to get a fast travel point so I can know where this map is later. Otacon. Metal Gear. Maximum security prison. Ooh, I think I could have grabbed that with launch, couldn't I? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Someone said, what's your, what's been your favorite game of 2019? It's between Sekiro and Baba's You. I don't know. Not Oberden. Oberden was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was for sure. Cause this is my 2018 list that I haven't put up. Yeah. Did I play the Outer Wilds? No, I didn't. I haven't played very many games that come out this year. Sorry. My life has been uh, pretty much dominated by Geralt and his women. Okay, it looks like there's probably going to be a checkpoint in here somewhere, and I can go back to the other area. game seems too easy. Well, I just failed the mission earlier, but I kind of didn't understand it, so. But yeah, I think uh, I think it's too easy as well. Will there be a video on Sekiro? Yeah, there almost was a video on Sekiro, but I, I, can't, I can't handle anything else other than The Witcher right now. I'm losing my mind a little bit. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So I, I can't do anything else right now apart from that. Have not upgraded your things also, have I not? Hmm. Is there a way to, to, is there a hard mode? Gameplay, I don't remember there being a difficulty mode at the beginning, difficulty select. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, but I'm menu blind. Who's the best waifu in the Witcher series? For me, um, Who's best girl on Witcher series for me? I mean, it's... Probably one of the sucky by because that's my fetish. No, probably Shani for me. But not not Witcher 1 Shani. I don't really like Shani in Witcher 1. 
But for Geralt, Yennefer, for sure. Hands down. Nothing, like, no contest, no debate, nothing to it. Alright, let's get out of here. We got the map, so let's go to uh, research. Thank you again for the bits, Wanku. Uh, thank you, Levi13, for, or Levy13, for the 18 month resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Kyriel145, for the 20 month resub. It's so weird to see all these big sub numbers. Thank you, Kyriel145. Okay, we've been to both these, or these are linked together, right? So we'll go to research sector. Thank you, Bugle, for the new sub prime. Welcome to prime time. Thank you, Bugle. Did it seem like Tris was meant for pe the people who only played the games? I hear that a lot. Um, that is a very complicated question that I will go into too much detail on in the video. More detail than anyone has ever asked for. I will, I will answer that question. Oh, we're the surge now. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing Darling Dylan. Studies of grave importance. And in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Is that a mimic? Ooh, what was that flash at the end? Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. How, how many bullets, bullet holes will the game track? Damn. Let's do one more. I lied, one more. Damn, I'm impressed. All right then. How interested, excited are you for Doom Eternal. Well, considering I forgot it existed until you just said that just now, uh, apparently not really. But uh, I really enjoyed the first Doom. We streamed that uh, my first playthrough, and I had a lot of fun. So uh, I'm excited for Doom Eternal when I remember it exists. <laughs> uh, the hook shot that we saw in the trailer looks like fun. Oh, this is the area from the trailer for this game. I think that was the only trailer I watched. Are there any Steam games you recommend in general? Uh, that's a, a really broad question. It's very hard to answer a question like that. Um, yeah, I really don't know how to answer that. Like, uh, there's at least one of my videos that's positive, right? Probably, probably that game. Uh, one of my favorite games on Steam is Enter the Gungeon. I Enter the Gungeon is a game that I keep coming back to now and then, and and I enjoy very, very much. So, if you like those types of games, then Enter the Gungeon. like um looting games path of exiles on steam path of exiles is decent um maybe maybe not as good as everyone thinks it is i don't know if i should say that i'm in trouble now but you know like yeah it's decent Can you do video game trailer callouts like for the division, huh? For who among us has touched for who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? 
Dr. Yusuke Ash. Thoughts on No Man's Sky now? Have they think they've redeemed themselves? Um When you lie that much, I don't think you can redeem yourself with that with that same product. I mean, I, I I guess it is admirable that they have put this much work into it, but it was you know with every update, it becomes more painfully obvious that it wasn't early access and how much they had lied. Can we climb this? And I, I want to say you know like oh it's it's really good of them and everything, but they're it's not like they're doing it for free. Like they're they're not charging for it, but everyone loves a redemption story right so it's to me it almost feels like more the calculatedness of it that hey it's it's good now you can play it and every single time it gets better it gets a huge chunk of publicity and all that shit so what the fuck is this oh i remember these we have level three clearance There's a three on it, yeah. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Okay, she is gonna have to wait though, because I didn't explore this area yet, and I wanna see if there's anything over there. Did you know that the game your game of the year, Celeste, is currently free on Epic Game? Celeste is not my game of the year from uh from twenty eighteen, believe it or not. Um, I didn't say it on stream, did I? Because there was going to be a 2018 video with a surprise from my game of the year for 2018. Uh, but I said it in on Discord. I didn't say it on stream. Celeste is not my game of the year for 2018. Uh, so because that video um, is not going to be out for a while and probably may never come out and if there's not a good time for it, uh, my game of the year for 2018 is actually CrossCode. I played CrossCode back in November of, of 2018. And... Um, or December, I can't remember when I started playing it. Uh, Crosscode is my game of the year for 2018. Then Celeste, then God of War. So I've, uh, I've, I've spoiled that for now, but that might not come out for a long time, so I guess I should reveal why it was redacted. Yeah, Crosscode is my game of the year. Can I get that without... That. Would you like better Bob is you or Steven Sausage Troll? Bob is you. Bob is you is my new favorite puzzle game. It beats Steven Sausage Troll. Bob is you is excellent. Yeah! All right, where are we going? Oh no, no! Oh, we're safe, okay. We're in a toilet with uh, still buttons, no no handles. God, I hate this place. Button toilets are the worst. Okay, I think I think we're we're rumbled, right? Self rumbled. Wait, this isn't poison. Doesn't this look like the poison? Oh no, were we supposed to come here later and have immunity to poison? So, because we have immunity to poison, they just didn't program poison in for this area, or...? Uh... <laughs> I 
I don't think that's it. I, th I think it just looks similar to the poison area, but it, it's not poison. Is there, what's so good about Crosscode? Never heard of it. Crosscode is a top-down sort of Zelda-y kind of game, and it has... Okay, that's that's not the best way to say it. The, the best way to describe Crosscode is that it is a classic Super Nintendo JRPG with real-time combat instead of turn-based combat, and the combat is actually good. So... If, if you like those kind of games, but you really didn't like the combat, then that's that's why Crosscode is really, really good. But it's it's like a love letter to those games as well. There's a lot of references. There's a lot of uh, homage to it. And uh, I grew up on those games. So like Crosscode is the, this is the line I actually had in, in the video, the 2018 video. Uh, Crosscode is, is quite possibly the only time that I've ever played a game. And I felt the whole time that this game was made just for me. Like, I, I am 100% the... Isn't that the poison stuff? That I am 100% the target audience for for um, for this game. Are we going to get poison down here? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, where are we going? Go to pneumatics. Where's pneumatics? Guys, these are this is the poison, isn't it? So I secret mana. Well, secret mana doesn't have very combat, but sort of, yeah. Way better combat than secret mana. I just made an enemy for life by saying secret mana doesn't have very good combat. Oh no, wrong way! We died. Have you seen the new levels and updates of Baba Is You? I've seen quite a few of the new levels in Baba Is You, and it really annoys me that they keep changing levels. Uh, in the script I wrote for Baba Is You, uh, I spoke about that a fair amount, and um, I, I, I question the uh, the changing of levels in Baba Is You quite heavily. Playing Bob was, was a fun time on Discord. Uh, there was a bunch of us playing it at the same time, and uh, we were helping each other out as they got stuck uh, with um, hints, like um, not outright saying, just like very. Do you want a minor hint or a moderate hint, or you just want me to tell you the answer? That sort of thing. So it was fun. There was a couple of us that had finished it, and we were helping some other people. Dick reveal at 500k. If you Google hard enough, you can find that right now. You don't need me to do that again for you. Yeah, so crosscode is um, not for everyone. So if uh, you like, like, don't take that as a, just a blind recommendation. You should still look it up and see, like, oh yeah, is is, is this something that that's for me? Uh, because it's it's pixel art. It looks like a Super Nintendo game. Uh, the combat is not that difficult, but it is quite um, quite demanding in some some ways it has this really good fluid uh s switching system between melee and range attacks that i really like a lot and uh the boss art in that game is is incredible there are some really cool looking bosses in that game but it is a little grindy and um you don't have to grind but the game is expecting you to level up and it will give you warnings at, at points when uh, you aren't high enough level yet <laughs> I fucking 
parkour over here <laughs> to that thinking this was poison. Like such a badass look at me go. And then down here I got to a secret place and it's fucking just fine. <laughs> this isn't even doesn't even damage you. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh. Sorry. Okay, where are we going? To, to Marshall, all right. right in my face than that. Okay, that was the hardest fight yet, but it was still kind of like I was making a lot of mistakes and we still got through it pretty much okay. Has Skull House been forgiven? No. No. Let me in. Let me in, Skull House. No. It's fine, though. There are, there are only a, a handful, like, maybe not even more than four of the, of the puzzles in Baba's You that I feel were like, what? And even then, like, with the example Skull House, like, that might just be my fault, not, not the game's. And considering how many puzzles there are in Baba Is You, um, four is an amazing number. Do you plan on playing Chapter Nine of Celeste when it comes out? Yeah. Is Baba hot? Bob Baba is hot and and got gaudy. Lottie dottie, here comes the gaudy. Anyway, sorry, to go back to it, because I was interrupted by my maniacal laughter as I realized what an idiot I've been. Um, yeah, CrossCode is not for everyone, so so please don't just run on by it blindly. I think there's a demo. There might be a demo. But yeah, try it. Uh, and Sorry, try the demo if it's there, or just look at the, the trailer and, and see if it's your kind of thing. Uh, but I really loved it. That, that was my favorite game in 2018. But for some somewhat personal reasons, but I, I also think that it that the combat really holds up quite well. It's got an unusual setting too. It's 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 based in an MMO, but it's not an MMO. You're playing a character playing an MMO. It's it's odd, and that's part of the nostalgia of it too. You know, it, it felt like a, an MMO that was out when I was a teenager playing those types of games. It's kind of anime too, yeah. It's a little anime. It's pixel art anime. That's quiet. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Was that a question? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> we still have another ability point. Okay, I wonder if shield does something else here. This is the shield, by the way, and I feel like it's useless. 
That's Makoto's favorite ability. That looks neat. It's one of the levels we went into, right? Or maybe it's one that looks like it. I'm sorry if anyone's annoyed that I'm not reading the uh, the notes that we find, but I'm... Um, I think it's too much reading to do on a stream. It's a little spooky. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. Oh, like video game reviews. Oh. Not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. True. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Oh, Native okay. It's always in the distance, and yet contact was made. Through that we phone. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, astral a knots. An astral fugue had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. So, the astral plane is um, that place where we, where we go when we find a new item. And the, I thought the board was uh, something to do with the oldest house, like a, a group of humans that work underneath the director. But no, the board is something else completely. Okay. This is strange. I hope it ends well, because I like all this. I'm enjoying the story and the setting quite a bit, but I have a feeling it's, it's going to be one of these, these games that I get really mad at in the last hour. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Huh. Let's let it out. Hey, bro. leave I don't see a health bar so I don't think we kill it ooh an item hold on a second I'll be right with you thank you for waiting Closed it. Do we do we run in? Or do we hit it and then we run in, or no? Okay. Okay, I'm... Oh, we didn't pick it up. We suck. I don't understand. Like, am I supposed to trap it? Because it was already trapped in here, right? We let it out. So... Do we go through here? What What do you... This is where we came from, isn't it? Or was it over here? 
It was over here. Okay, so we have to go through there. I really want to find Marshall. And then we're going to find Rubble and Chase and Zuma, Rocky and Sky. Oh, okay. I understand now. Just have to trap it in an even smaller room. Okay, we did it. What was the bureau doing with that thing? Just wants to be friends. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. I really wonder how these strobe lights made it into the final game. Was that bad for anyone? Marshall. Are you still I try to put warnings in the videos when they're, they're going to show up. Can't Shit. do the first streams, obviously. We're so close. We need to hurry. What is this range for a second? Was it bad? Did you? Did we lose a lot of frames during that? It probably doesn't show up very well in the stream. Sorry about that. Thank you, Rickyon, for the 19 month resub. Thank you, 77 Hockey, for the 14 month resub. And thank you, Micrologist, for the 783 bits. That's unusual in my bets. Thank you very much. Thank you, Micrologist, 77 Hockey, and Rickyon. His clusters heal other enemies to show them to make the fight easier. Oh, now it's telling me. Cool. Alright. Ironic. It can heal anything except for itself. That's a, a, a pretty subtle reference there. Not many of you are going to get that, sorry. You have to be in the know. You have to be an elder internet user to know all about that. Okay, so you need to find things to shoot to break that open. Maybe they don't spawn until the enemies are all dead. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, there's so many. There's so many Star Lords. I need an adult. What's this guy? Yeah, we're dead. We went. We we skipped over our part where we fight our way through. Too easy to set. Well, I should have turned around. Like, I was dealing with, like, two levels of spawns there. Did it save our progress here? Would this game be better if it was set up like Edith Finch or Firewatch? Mm, well, I haven't played Firewatch, but I assume it's like it's like Edith Finch. Maybe I don't know. I if if you don't like the gameplay in the game, then then it makes sense that it would just be it should change into something that's just about the setting, right? That makes sense, but I don't know. Even bad gameplay can add context to things sometimes. Like, the gameplay in, um, you know, Witcher is pretty bad, but uh, it adds a lot of context, right? I'm trying to think of another game that has fairly bad combat, but is improved through the context. Or improves context of what's going on. 
Like, like even like really, really, really bad gameplay. Like, like which is which is gameplay to, to stop ship posting for a second isn't that bad. Even, even the first one isn't that bad in terms of combat. Like, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as Baldur's Gate 2, you know what I mean? And that adds a lot of context. It also allows you to roleplay a bit. So even though the combat itself mechanically is bad, I guess in terms of systems it's okay, and, and it allows context and allows expression through it. So it has value. Whereas this, I don't know if it has value or not. Okay, so let's not jump up there. Let's go the other way, but first let's pick this up. Recording share procedures. Okay, I actually want to read that. Before using recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair and ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the recording process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider ups upsetting. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of the recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Ask dilation is a known issue if any problems arise during this process contact your supervisor oh it's like that contact movie that was really bad it was a bad movie maybe i should watch it again though maybe i would like it more now that i watched that when i was a kid there's a movie like that called um solaris and it had a uh, george clooney in it that was the version i watched and when i watched it the first time i was i think I think I was 17 or something, and I really didn't like it. And then I watched it again when I was older, and I really liked it a lot. I was like, oh, wow, this is a really cool concept. Like, so I should watch uh, Contact again. Maybe I'd like it now. So that's, uh, that's how you're meant to do it instead of jumping up here and getting um, pincer attacked by both sides. Hey, Lily, how's it going? Okay, hey, hey. You role playing as Jackie today? Who's Jackie? Which one's that one? Ooh. I didn't watch all of it. Oh my god, who's Jackie? I thought Owie was a hey, hey. Who's Jackie? Now Jackie's hey, hey. Really? Yeah. Who was Owie then? Owie's... That was hey, Owie. Hey, Owie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm sorry I know that, yeah. I'm sorry I don't, but I'm only a little sorry. How are the kids? They're fine. They're fine? Okay. Kate's, uh, Kate's sleeping, and then she wakes up and cries and goes right back to sleep. She's done it, like, three times, so. Okay, so usual day for Kate, then? Yeah, but, yeah. Like, you know, if you hear her crying, it's, I'm sorry, but she's not always hungry. It's just, uh, it's I don't just think Kate. I don't think they can hear it. It's okay. Thank you for the tea. Welcome. Go to communications department. Executive communications department. What the f Why? There's just like random quests given to you to go get stuff? Chat, do we care? Do we care? Do we care? We don't care. We don't care. We don't care, chat. Are we gonna get the bad ending? Those quests are randomly generated. Radi the Radiant quests. Oh, has, did Howard get his claws into this? I knew it. Oh, that was jank as fuck. Yeah, see, definitely Howard. No, there is, there is no bad ending. Is there bad? You, you didn't do enough of the randomly generated busy work tasks that the rea that the director is meant to do, so you got the bad ending. Mm -hmm. 
Dylan joins with the AI construct instead of coming out and going back to Hell's Kitchen. Oh, there's a fast travel point right here too, Ben. Have you watched Annihilation? You might enjoy some of the concepts in it. Yeah, I've watched Annihilation. I thought it was kind of dumb. But visually, it was it was very impressive. Kind of, it was a it was a spooky movie. I enjoyed it, but I thought it was a little dumb. Uh, I kind of want to go do the communication. <laughs> I kind of want to go do it. No, we're not going to go do it. Let's let's do the other one. Old boys club. So to give context to that, to that answer, I spoke about that in a Q&A um, a while ago, uh, which Lily and I are discussing how we can bring that back because uh, we'd like to d resume doing the Q&As. Uh, I spoke about Annihilation in a Q&A, and if you want to know my answer to that, I think it was in the latest one or the one before that. I think Lily, Lily was with me during that one. I can't remember which one it was. I'm sorry. It wasn't the last one. It was a couple before that. Um, I think... Most of you are should if you've watched the channel or are familiar with me enough to know that I like things to make at least a little sense and or sense within their own worlds. And the part of Annihilation that really like fucked me off was that they just kept Marshall, doing oh can shit. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Is that they just keep doing the same thing it, it, when they're sending people into the shimmer? They don't they don't learn from their mistakes. Is apparently the military and they're not even doing the most basic things. Like why don't they try setting up a communication line, like a physical one that goes into the shimmer? And if, if they did that and it doesn't work, why isn't there a line saying that? Like lo those little things really add up for me. And it's like if there's something really 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 obvious in in a movie that ruins it, then I get annoyed. Um, I think Adam on Your Movie Sucks has a good one for for the Saw series, where if the, if if you're not familiar with Saw, it's like um, he traps people in like torture rooms and they have to sacrifice something in order to get out, so they might have to chop off their hand or whatever. And there are times when they need to bleed into like uh, a jar to weigh something down, and that's the only way to do it because there's no other fluid. And Adam just says, "Why don't they just piss in it?" And and that sort of thing is just drives me nuts in movies. Like if there's a really, really, really simple solution to something, then I, that needs to be accounted for or it needs to be um, dismissed in some way. And Annihilation has that. Trench said his team knows all the bureau secrets, Marshall especially. Does she know what happened to Dylan? You baited me into watching Atomic Blonde and I didn't like it. Apologies. Oh, you didn't like Atomic Blonde? I thought that was decent. I didn't love it, but I thought that was fun. I thought it was a good movie. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. I'm sorry you didn't like it. The game's best bosses of side content, or so I heard you might want to check those out. I don't think I have any side content to do right now, apart from this mission that's about to expire in 15 minutes. Investigate the X-ray light box object of power. Oh, where's that? I don't remember getting that one. Is that up top? Alright, we'll just keep going and see Marshall for now. Luck and probability. Interesting. But no, Annihilation overall was a, was a good time. I enjoyed it. I don't think I 100% understood the ending, though. But I don't think you're meant to. And I thought the... The cancer... I don't even know if it would be sim symbolism. Just the cancer thing was a bit on the nose. But... What? Oh, it's a weeb game. We're safe. I want one. How do I get one? I want one. Is 
It's the fish from earlier. There you are. I was starting to worry. All right, we're taking the four-leaf clover. Flip a horseshoe. Okay, here's here's some Joe lore. Joe loves stupid bullshit like this. I don't have any because I'm too cluttered of a person and, and the house is too small for it, but Joe loves stupid bullshit like this. <laughs> uh, all right, when do we get clearance level five? Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of your operations. Zachariah's dead then. And I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phase is hurt. Oh, do the past directors become really? the board? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Do, 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 do. If there's anything in this place that can improve our luck, we ought to try it out. You know, just in case. Do not touch anything. Oh, whoops. Uh, thank you, uh, Neko Dalek, for the 713 sub. Russian Solaris is better. Thank you, uh, Puhu or Puho? P O O H H O. I hope one of those is correct. Thank you very much for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. And thank you, Calbrick, for the 713 sub. Thank you very much, Calbrick. What do you think about Groundhog Day? I like Groundhog Day a lot. That was a, that was a good movie. I watched that again recently. I, I enjoyed that movie quite a bit. I even like the Supernatural episode for Groundhog Day. Ritual Division, I wish I could see. Flight, yeah, I agree. Unexpected good movie. Uh, Groundhog Day or some other movie that people are talking about in chat. Sorry. You're calm. I have not played Outer, Outer Wilds now. When's Outer Worlds out, September? Parakinesiology Chief Lift didn't say that right. What happened to him? Kinesiology? 
Kino? Kino Seology? Just a question, if someone asks a question and you don't answer it, how long should you wait to ask it again or not to spam you? You can ask it a fairly quickly over and over again, just, I don't know, if, if you can still see your question on the screen, then you probably shouldn't um, ask it again, like wait for it to be pushed up a little bit, and then maybe, I don't know, a couple seconds after that? I don't know. There's no hard or fast rule. That fight was pretty boring. Thank you, Dosney, for the new sub prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Dosney. And thank you, N Hunter, for the 16 month resub. Good to see you, N Hunter. Uh, also, thank you, Let's Go Blue, for the new sub prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Let's Go Blue. How playable, in your opinion, would Crosscode be with a keyboard and mouse, or is it really only a controller game? Ooh, that would be tough. That would be um, that would be difficult. I didn't try playing it with a keyboard and mouse, so I uh, <laughs> so I, I can't I can't say whether or not that would be good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so I can't uh, alt tab out to get this I don't think this game doesn't like alt tabbing but maybe we can risk it for the comic that Mad Big made hold on let me, let, me, let me risk it let me pause it Maybe it'll be okay. Okay, it's in it's in my fan art uh folder. Whoops, wrong one. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Wrong one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> At least she looks less devilish. Great. So there's me and Finn is on the left, Lily and Leo, and there's new baby Kate. <laughs> I love the expression. You know what to do. Time to wake up, Kate. Da da. <laughs> then the the, the Sekiro. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go again. To be continued. Is there is there a JoJo reference in here? Because that looks like the to be continued from JoJo. I, I know enough about JoJo memes to recognize that to be continued. Do 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 do. The music is is what's really getting me into JoJo. So I guess you could say that I've you know starting to like it in a roundabout way. It's pretty good. 
Everything is a JoJo reference. Thank you for that map pick. I'll show it to Lee later. She'll get a real kick out of that. Oh, whoops, wrong one again. Wrong one again. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Finger slipped there. Did I watch any other anime since I watched the Great Danganronpa anime? No, I haven't. I haven't watched any anime. That's it. That's the only anime I've ever watched apart from Pokemon. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're really far away from that optional objective up there. And Sailor Moon. Oh, that's true. I did see some Sailor Moon. And I'm sure at some point... Um, like Yu-Gi-Oh was on and I watched a bit of an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z or something but I wasn't really into it so uh, can I get a quick story recap uh this is the a facility in New York City called the oldest house which uh is presumably even older than the city itself um and inside this place it has artifacts objects of power that are like um if you're familiar with SCP it's sort of like that or warehouse 13 that sort of thing and uh, we are the director because the old director died and we picked up their gun and we're being guided by uh, some being called Polaris that our character met when she was young. <clears throat> and we don't really know what's going on. So there isn't really much for, for us to explain apart from that. Where does this go? Oh, it just, it just goes somewhere. Okay, cool. Is there anything important that I've... Uh forgotten chat thank you dash away 22 for the 513 sub thank you very much arms of my chair keep clicking out of alignment dylan oh yeah we're trying to find our, our younger brother dylan and yeah i might play uh divinity original sin at some point maybe one day i don't know it doesn't really interest me that much but enough people want me to try it that i should probably try it one day else in here doesn't look like it huh I wonder if we can use that to fly somewhere we're not supposed to get to hmm Joe, go back in the elevator and read the logo. What? I'm going. Ritual office. Pain elevators. Max pain. Okay, perfect with studies. We can go to the left. By the way, chat, does Joe finally know what yeet means? Yeet, yeet is just like uh, an expression of joy, right? Like, or that you enjoyed something. Like, that that movie we watched last night was pretty yeet. Like, hey, you want to hang out today? Yeet, hell yeah. That, that's what it means, right? Altered item number 52 AE analysis. And the past tense of yeet is yo, right? I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. Yeet, yo, yo, yeah. No response. 
Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. <laughs> oh, I want the rubber duck so bad. Rubber ducky, you're the one. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. Is that... Was that a quack? Man, I'll be so happy if we get if we get the, the duck. I'll be thoroughly yotin. Hello neighbor broke me, you guys know this, right? Is this poison? No. Did we get immunity to poison and I forgot? Yes! No! Disappearing ducks. No! Oh shit, I could record in here real good. God damn. Where did it go? I feel like I'm being taunted by the duck. Okay, I can no longer hear the duck, so it must be back here. Do you think it went up to the office? Can I hear it here? No. Where the fuck is this duck?
We're getting outsmarted by a duck right now. Is there something hiding behind these boxes? Like a vent somewhere? Quack, quack. Okay, I'm going to the office just to make sure. Maybe it's in the office. Joe walked past the damn duck like five times. Did I really? God damn it. Don't do this to me because I'll believe you. Don't do this to me. I'll believe you, man. It's got to be an event somewhere because in order to get into an event, we're going to have to duck. So it's it, that's it for sure. Okay, it's not here. I can hear him though. Wait, what? Cool. Synchronicity lab. We missed this. Mirror testing. Oh, we don't have clearance. I bet you the duck would give us clearance. I kind of feel like maybe the game would have been better if it would just let you wander around as you feel it instead of following the story and main objectives maybe i kind of felt that way about prey too like i kind of like just stumbling onto something and then having something to do instead of just being like led and and because because the objectives i'm not really learning the layout of the place i just want to go from point a to point b instead of exploring and naturally finding things is that anyone else think that's fair or maybe not i don't know prey was a lot more hands-off than this well, at least at first, like toward the end, eh? Are you saying no story should exist? No, I don't think so. I don't think we have to go that far. It can still have a story. Okay, apparently I'll walk past the duck. Five times. The quacking stopped. Okay, it's back. What do you mean you see it? What do you, what do you mean you see it? What do you see it? I'm s- What? Okay, this is where we found it and it vanished. Quack, quack. And we walk down here. What? Was it there? Oh, it's re it's not yellow. I was looking for yellow. All right. I'll still miss it though, don't worry. Whoa, was it there? Okay, so we have to grab him as fast as we can. There he is. 
All right, we did it. Finally, no more quacking. What did we get with the duck? That's it. Rubber duck procedures. Is that what we just got for picking it up? Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety goes are required behind that. Whoops. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms an ass of unknown purpose with... <laughs> <laughs> makes direct con physical contact with it and begins to follow them quacking often. This has led to a research researcher named Yusuke entering cardiac arrest, though not due sorry, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected with the item's effect. Okay. So this is all we got was rubber duck procedures from that. That's it. Objects of power. I thought it was an, I thought it would be under here with object of power, but I guess it's just just an altered item instead. Okay. Sorry, I was looking for for yellow. I wasn't looking for red. Fuck, I'm pissed. Okay, was that how we were supposed to do that then? We were supposed to, to make a, a stack and... Or are we able to... Maybe if we get a little higher, we can just dash there? Hmm, maybe, okay. Maybe we can just jump off of this. I don't know, if I had a sword, I could probably balance the sword against the wall and then just climb up on the hilt and jump up there. But then I'd lose my sword. Maybe if I was able to tie a string around it and then pull it back up with me, I don't know, maybe. Feedback loop dimensions too powerful for our use. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards. The symbols, the terminals, how do they connect? I'll see what I can do.
Okay, so these are patterns that we have to put into a place, I guess. All right, so we need, I'm gonna guess more than, oh, okay, so this is number one, that's number two, maybe following that. Hey, let's get some more punch cards, let's see. The hiss manifests in the human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The, the hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Inf Infinitum, sorry, I was going to say infinitium. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Oh, we should kill them then. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file yeet for full report. Okay, so is there somewhere else to go around here, or is it just these key cards that we're that we're picking up? So you need to find all the punch cards. Punch cards. Okay, so we have f at least four now. I lost track. Maybe I picked up five. Ooh, there's a fifth one there. All right, so maybe we have to do. Maybe we have to find the fifth punch card. There's number four. Okay, so the, these are the orders that he was sure of. So we know the first one and the fourth one, maybe. Fourth one is that. That's the fourth one. That looks like it. And the first one is the, looks like a radioactive symbol kind of. Or maybe I'm thinking of another symbol. That's number one. Okay, and, and the other ones are... Okay, that's different Each now. Punch card should correspond to a terminal. Feedback loop. Can I use the punch cards more than once? No. Okay, fuck it. Let's just, let's just put them in randomly and see what happens. Uh, where was the third one? One, two, four's up there, five. Knowing me, I'll probably walk past there. There it is. Okay, and then do I go and hit the button, or will it tell me? These whiteboard drawings may be important. Yeah, they're almost certainly important. Okay. Okay, so... Dimensions... Too powerful for our use. That's the first one is the same on this one and the other whiteboard. Then he, it's the same one three times in a row, but you can't do that. Then the fourth one on that one is different, and then it becomes the other one. Is there something on the other side? No. Let's go to the other, up on the other one and look at that one again. Is a yeet the opposite of a swoos? I don't know what a swoos is. So the first one is the same on both of them. And then it's no, no, that one, yes. Is there more than one correct configuration, maybe? Oh, no. I don't understand this. Sorry. I don't understand this. Okay, let, let's go with trust my instinct and say that this the one and four are right right now. Let's scramble the other three. Mean. Uh, let's just switch these two. Oh, okay. 
All right. Was that what I, what I was supposed to do? I don't understand the first whiteboard then at the bottom. Oh. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Whoa. Whoops. Oh, there's one over here. Two strong leaks out. That was number two, number three is right. Oh, that's wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Did we fuck it up? Could we have done something different? We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. What is the She's gun right. she has? As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. Whoa, Jesse, what the hell? But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Yeah, level four. I'm going to set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. Well, it's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. That looks cool. Here, this will lead back to central research. Jesse, you don't owe these people a damn thing. Why are you not pressing her for information real quick? Like, why can't she just tell you just real quick, hey, yeah, Dylan's here, Dylan's here, Dylan's alive, Dylan's dead. Like, what the fuck, Jesse? You don't owe these people anything. Okay, so has anyone who's played this game, I, I'm sure there must be at least a handful of you that have played this game ahead of me since it came out um, a few days ago, and it's short. Uh, did I, is there another solution to this puzzle and I did it wrong? And and now it's like sending me somewhere else or, or what? Executive personal protection. All right, where's that? The mail room. Oh, we're going to executive anyway. No? Okay. Uh, thank you, Drew Carrymore, for the 16 month reset. Thank you very much, Drew Carrymore. Good to see you. Been around for a while. Uh, thank you, Wasteland Wanderer, for a thousand bits. Um, so I'm not reading uh, messages or anything, but if it's a thousand bits, I kind of feel like I, like I, I, I really should. And you know, so I hope that's okay with everybody. Hey, hey Joe, I'm finally fulfilling my promise to send you and Lily a year or so ago that I would send. I read that wrong. Fulfilling my promise to you and Lily a year or so ago that I would send some cash your way. It's not the world since I only just started the new uh, my new job and I'm looking to save up as much as possible but know that your work is hugely appreciated and it's enabled me to actually explain to people why I like or dislike certain games etc I'm rambling thank you for all you're you're very welcome by selling wonder and thank you so much for, for the bits and good luck with the new job thank you so much uh, and thank you complex stupidity for the new sub with prime as well welcome welcome to prime time complex stupidity 
There should be like a threshold for bit donations to be earned. Yeah, there should, but uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, I feel like, I feel like it's scummy or or a bit like uh, the technical term would be icky to have like, hey, if you send me this much, I will read something. Um, but maybe having a number set is is better than just like playing it by ear as we go. <laughs> but we'll see. I just, I really don't want to be the kind of streamer that's like, yeah, you're incentivized to send me this much money because then I'll read something that you said. Especially if things settle down and, and we can get streaming consistent after Witcher's done, then I'll, I'll just do it anyway. It's practical? Yeah, it is practical. How's Kate doing? She's doing great. We had a little bit of a scare when she was, she, when she was first born that she, um, that she might have had, uh, uh, Spina Bifida. But she doesn't. She's she's perfectly fine. She had a test done. It was just um, a, uh, a a scary moment after she was born. But no, she's perfect. Perfect baby. I kind of want to go down to the other place and see what's down there. But oh well, we'll go up. Would you think a text, text to speech, would that be too annoying to be interpreted like that? Yeah, that would be way too annoying. It could happen during, um, when I'm saying something, or it could happen when we're in the middle of a, of a story sequence in a game, you know, like, so yeah, I, I wouldn't really want that. Maybe one day we'll do it for something special, but I'm afraid it'll be abused too. Someone will just probably type Pickle Nagito a hundred times into it. You also playing the Witcher expansions? I already played them. Yep, I've done done the whole thing. I played Witcher one, two, three, and the expansions three times, and I've read all the books. Yep, it's uh, it's we're really at the end. It's just a very, very, very long video. So even at the end, it, there's still a lot to do. And I thought the video was going to be six hours long, and it's not six hours long. It's longer than six hours. So uh, it's a lot longer than six hours. So it's it's every hour is a lot of work. So it's been added onto it. I only I only did um, full completionist on each of them one time though. I didn't do full completionist on the on the second and third playthroughs. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Okay, director's office leads to the mail room. Do these gonna be done this year or first half of next year? This year, uh, almost for sure, yeah. I'm not gonna promise anything because I've already said it was it was like this month this I think it's this month much away already, and then the video is what the fuck are all the post-it notes? And then I, I don't want to mislead people or anything, so I'm trying to keep my mouth shut on, on when it's gonna be done. But apart from these streams and and getting used to the new baby, it's pretty much my whole entire life right now. Huh, this is a weird room. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something in here, but okay. Um, I want to get to the mail room. How do I get to the mail room? Director's office, and then up here. While we were waiting, can you give us a quick eight-hour summary of your thoughts on The Witcher? <laughs> Kind of lame that it doesn't matter what you pick up with launch it, you know a big chunk of concrete or a big box or just these little mail can uh, mail canisters do the same amount of damage but then you would have to pick a target quickly and maybe the game's not prepared to do that but it seems kind of lame Crossers would have been gone red. I 
It seems like you get an AOE with the big stuff. Uh, you might be right. Maybe there's a difference. You can. It's uh, there's a difference with um, the grenades and the rockets you pick up. It failed. Why? Because they died. Oh, I have to protect them. Shit! I thought they were just here for flavor. Had to be faster. Okay. One day we'll get one of these. One day. I got a report on the post-it notes thing. Did I? Okay, let's look at it. Because I'm interested in that. Was it case files or research and records? Reports. Shit, unless it says, unless it's called post-it note room, I'm not going to know what one it is. Sticky note complaint. To make a concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. <laughs> I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell phone. Sincerely, a guy. How are the books? I read the first three and got kind of disinterested from that point on. Oh boy. Uh. Oh man. The books have some really, really good passages and some really, really good parts, um, but I really cannot recommend reading the last five. The first two are, are really, really good, but after that, um, it's it, it's very hard to recommend them. But I'll, again, talk about that a lot in, in the, the video. Uh, the awkward thing about it, though, is that I feel like, and I don't know how to do this in the video, Knowing stuff about the books kind of ruins the games. It's, it's kind of what I spoke about earlier about Triss and, and Yennefer and, and how I'm going to have to talk about it for a long time. Um, it's... It's too complex to go on stream, but yeah, it's... Surprisingly difficult. But yeah, it does it does ruin it. Me melee damage. Why would you invest the whole thing for melee damage? Um, 50, launch damage. Basic enemies when their health is low. That sounds like it could be fun. Let's get that. That sounds like a fun ability. Let's get some health. And that's it, right? We only have one left. Launch large enemies when their health is low. Cool. Explain the hair loss. Think about it. The Astral constructs. Do, 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 the game was made thinking the player didn't read. Yeah, was it though? Because absolutely correct for Witcher 1 and 2, but for Witcher 3, like, what's Pierce? Pierce is precise with a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at range. That sounds like it could be fun. Upgrade, uh, construct charge. We need more remote thoughts. Let's just leave it for now. I, I, like, I like the loadout that we have. And I really want to go down and get, get, it looks like there's a secret down there with, um, Investigate the, the x-ray. Let's go down and get that. And that was in research. Uh, astral exhibition. So we can go up here to parapsychology. Here, maybe? Let's, let's try it. Do you think you'll do another huge project like The Witcher after the video is out? Uh, we're, I'm going to discuss that uh, with viewers, like probably on stream. I'll probably talk to patrons about it too. I'll do a Patreon post about it. Um, I, I don't, I, I really hate to say things because I usually, I'm quite changeable with what I need to do. And then uh, circumstances with like having having the kids or, or things come up in real life, that sort of thing, make it difficult to, to stick to plans. Um, but I think going forward, it's, it's going to either be... I never do a project like this ever again, or I only do projects like this. And I don't even bother with the short videos anymore. And it's just um, two to three times a year, I put up a big, 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 big project. And that's it. Depending on how big they are, you know? Like, and I don't even bother with the smaller ones anymore. Or I just never do a big project like this ever again. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay, so this is the wrong way. The short videos don't do that well. Um, 
But that's hard to judge too because I feel like most people who watch the long videos probably don't watch it all in one sitting. So that doubles the view count just from that. But uh, in terms of uh, like ad revenue and stuff, uh, the long ones do way better than, than the short ones. Like when uh, God of War was down from, um, from YouTube because of the copyright claim, uh, that, that was a lot of money that was gone. And uh, we still don't know if we're going to get the, the, it back from the claim because it was claimed for two months. Um, like that, that didn't make any revenue for two months. And the, the people that claimed it might have just gotten that. Even though YouTube's policy says they shouldn't, it's, it still hasn't been resolved. So we'll see. Takes a while. Ooh, mouse mouse button uh, does the dodge. Interesting. Okay, cool. I think we'll use that. I just accidentally hit my thumb on the mouse button, and that does the dodge. That's a little better. We just missed them a bunch. Isn't he targeted? Maybe I um, went a little too high just at the end and the cursor went off of him. By short video, do you mean the 10 30 minutes or the one two hour videos? The 10 30 minute ones, like like no more like that. But I don't know, I guess it might depend on the game. Like the Plague Tale video did okay, and that didn't take very long to make at all. I've gotten really fast at making that type of video, but it also depends on the game. Like, that was an easy game to make a video on, too. Okay, so maybe we can follow the signs. We're trying to get to X-Ray, right? Or, um, Hypnosis Lab. I know we're going back the way. I want to check the signs. Parapsychology, hypnosis lab. Okay, so this is the way. Okay. Yeah, but I'm hesitant to say, yeah, it's only ever going to be this or it's only ever going to be that because even if I say it's it's only ever going to be long videos, like what if I make a, what if I play this on stream and I really like this game and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to make a quick video on that, you know, like I want to have that flexibility, but at the same time, like I can't really balance the big projects and the short projects. That's that's what I've learned from this whole experience. I, I really can't do it. Um, then again, this this is an extreme case, like uh, like the Witchers are, are long, dense games. Well, two isn't really all that long, but you, you know what I mean. It's, it's a dense game. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to think about. What? Okay, so this is for testing uh, ESP. Huh. Interesting. Like, I don't know if a, if a series on all the Mass Effect games would be similar, but I kind of feel like it might. You plan to do it on Death Stranding? I have to play it first. We'll stream it and we'll see if that's enough. I don't know. Oh, are there people in here? Uh, thank you, Matt Dar Darian, or Matt Darian, for the eight month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Varnes, for the eight month resub as well. Thank you, Varnes. Thank you, Rex Prime, for the six month resub. Good to see you, Rex. Thank you, Rex. 
And thank you, Kimmy Chi, for the 23 month resub. Only long on six. I just automatically read the message. Oh no. Only long on six hours. Come on, Joe Kappa. Okay, no one heard that. No one heard that. I just. Oh, fucking hell. Thank you, Kimmy Chi. Thank you, the fried eggs, for uh, the new Silver Prime. <sighs> My face is so red right now. Thank, thank you, fried eggs. Hypnosis Lab, okay. I feel like looking at the map is a mistake. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Okay, so hitting down in any direction fills it up progressively more and more while also moving the center face in a pattern in a set, set direction. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, but we don't have a... Um, we don't have a reference for how to do this yet like we did in the last one. That one maybe. So half full on the sides and then top full. <laughs> it's one off. It was fucking one off. But I just hit off one more time. Okay, what did that do? Thank you, Captain Charon, for the new Soviet Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Captain Charon. Uh, someone asked about paperback books for Lil and I's books. Uh, that was meant to be happening after The Witcher's done, and it probably still will, but um, we're, we're not prepared because like, it's, like all the time is going into making that video and, and adjusting to having three kids now. So it won't be immediately after the, the Witcher video, but it will be sometime after that. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal untangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, AKA the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. You seize to complete the actual playing challenge. Okay, I hope it's going to teach me how to use it. Seize. Golden copy NPC variation. Dun, 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 dun. Gold enemies are immune to just the attacks. Find another way to defeat this enemy. Enemies at low health can be seized. F. Oh shit, we hit E. Oh God. I don't wish I could see it. Hold F. Enemies will help me seize. Hold F to seize enemies. These enemies will fight alongside Jesse. Okay. And they, they can kill gold enemies?
So it's Axie. All right. Why can't I seize you? You're low. Why can't I seize you? What the f- Can I only have two active at the same time? The other ones were lower, uh, weren't as low as that and I could seize them. Shit. Fission mailed. Fission mailed. Oh, you can move while doing it too. All right, neat. That's pretty neat. Okay, again, why can't I? Is it only when he's in a certain animation state or? That's weird. Okay, let's, let's just assume I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you can't interrupt their attacks with it or something. Alright, we did it. were fried when I took over the object or that the an object Okay, so we're to now. Now we have the missions just to go to Black Rock Processing. All right, so where's the nearest um, teleporter? It's up here, right? Uh, we're almost done though. We got 20 minutes left on the stream. Uh, I can't remember if I said thank you to Captain Charon. So just in case, thank you, Captain Charon, for the 4 3 sub. I remember seeing your name, so uh, maybe I just thought about it and I was in the middle of combat or something. But thank you, Captain Charon, and thank you, Alunite. Or a Lunite, probably a Lunite for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you. Am I trying to recreate the shooting, shooting scene from Pulp Fiction? Yes, I really wanted that uh, chair kind of believe in God. Okay, and it was in. Maintenance, central maintenance we have to go. So uh, control room, I'm guessing. Let's go control room. Would you be interested in a piece of software that separates questions from the normal flow chat to make them easier to see? Mm, maybe, but I kind of I kind of don't mind the system that we have right now, which is if I see a question, I answer it. I, if there were in a- about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. Yeah, but why? Everyone, including Dylan. 
Once I find him. Yeah, but just just quickly as we're waiting, why can't why can't you just ask? Like you do with me. I don't get it. I'm annoyed. Uh, but if they were all on the list, I would feel compelled to answer them one at, one at a time, like as they come in. And I don't know if that's the best idea. Like right now, if I see a question I don't like it, I can just pretend I didn't see it. So I like. <laughs> How do we get through here? Okay, so that's not it. Do we come back here later? Um, is a is a door open now that we have uh, that we have level four? Should we go to the maintenance sector and go back the other way? Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go just go to the maintenance sector. No, this is this is the way. Let's just go down here and we'll see. Uh, so that's why you don't answer any of my questions. You didn't ask questions this time, Swart, so I c I can acknowledge you. That's level five, and yeah, just to confirm, we have level four. Okay. Central maintenance. Black rock processing. So that's through here? Okay, we still can't get through here. No, we can't. Okay, so that does look visually distinct from the other places that we had. Yeah, it's more blue. I was just being dumb. Aha, level four. Yes, this is where we're supposed to be. Do you know if YouTube gives less ad revenue if you watch at 1.5 speed, meaning they watch less time? Mm, it probably does, yeah. But most of the ad revenue comes from the the ads that you watch, not the whoa, not the um, the banner ads or anything like that. But I don't know how it works with um, how you how many ads you get if. Depending on watch time, I have no idea. I'm a pretty bad YouTuber. So I don't know for sure. But if you watch any ads at all, that's more than most people. So like don't I don't know why anyone would feel bad, but if you do watch at 1.5 speed, like don't don't feel bad at all. Like most people have ad block on and stuff, right? So And I mostly expect that some people, maybe even most people, will watch them at 1.5 speed. I've, I've slowed down my voice on purpose for that because I know that YouTube has that functionality. I would rather be a little too slow and you can speed it up to 1.5 or even 2 speed than to be too fast because you can't slow it down. Slowing it down doesn't work. You sound like a zombie no matter what. I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, whatever, we're committed. Make long videos, very few games are going to be massive with The Witcher games. Set a schedule of certain weekdays that you only focus on your main video, then using the days not allotted to much and break, sprinkle in some time to make your small videos and ship post, let fans know you exist, the best method I am of. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, and, and that's great in theory, but um, it gets to a point where there's too much in my head and I can't keep track of it, even with extensive notes. That's where I'm at right now with The Witcher games. It's just, there's just too much. I can't, I can't even think of doing anything else other than them. So it's like... Just, just screwed. But in theory, it would work well. So I just, I don't know. It's just a limit for me. I can't make it work. With other videos, it's usually okay. But this one is Director Faden. completely tapped me out. Okay, central maintenance. All right, here we go. Central maintenance. Maybe we were going the right way.
Ooh, this is a fancy bathroom. Personal mods. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Okay, so what are we at? Health boost, 15. Alright, so health element, health recovery, shield strength. We're never using that, so deconstruct. Evade energy cost. Launch energy. Prime? I'm having fun. Just men, men and women. I get the No Man's Sky or Got it. Is this the way? Because this is not, like we're going away from the objective marker. What the fuck? Sandra Hen for the 18 man 3 sub. Thank you very much. Always like saying your name, Sandra Hen. Even if I'm saying it wrong. Hopefully I'm not. Chamber. That was a really bad stream for me. I was so tired. I don't think I have. <sighs> Maybe one of the Dang and Rumpus streams. I was more tired than I was during the Anti Chamber stream. I'm trying to think.
So there's two receptacles at the top that we can take the energies to, but is that the way to go or? Ah, fuck it. Let's, let's not fanatically explore. Let's just go. There's already a bunch of stuff, stuff that we've missed. Excuse me. You have to keep the button held, by the way, to carry this. I wish it was a toggle. Maybe it's in the options. You can toggle it. Notice Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. Catalyst Light Switch at the Log 3 applies. Okay, so we're back here again. What's down here? Does the giant ship monster ever come back? Which I just, you know, also wanted to say because anyone who wasn't here for the other streams is gonna be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Maybe the giant ship monster is the last boss. Someone's here. I don't know. The lights are on. They should be open. We're looking to get a room for the night. Hello? I don't think anyone's there, honey. They're not there, though. We'll go to that motel we passed a while back. Hmm. Okay, so last time ringing the bell three times, open one of those doors. This time it's this one. Oh, it's more than one. Okay, so we did three actions. Do we need to do them three times? Now we did four actions. I'm guessing we have to do them three times. What? Um. Okay, I don't know how we did that, but cool. All the bridges there now that we didn't need. This is where we came from last time. You decided to match both rooms so the furniture was all in the same place, you managed it randomly. <laughs> okay. Whoops. We need to find a way to Blackrock processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. has copyright music on it. Oh, okay. So we need level five for that, but we just broke through it instead. A lot of bathrooms in this place. Pretty good if you're here at 4 a.m. Whoa. 
Oh, it does have a button, okay. Did the lid of the toilet seat just come off? Holy shit. Should I be more annoyed that we had to go through all that to make that bridge happen when I was able to just dash across it? I feel like I should be more annoyed. But I'm accepting it. I don't know why. Hmm. Yes, yes. Cool, okay. So we went around the long way and then we opened up a shortcut. Hold F makes you do the C's, but pressing F makes you change weapons. So that's why my weapon keeps changing, because when I sometimes when I press it to start the hold, it just isn't ready yet, so it changes my weapon instead. That's kinda lame. about doing a segment where you play games made by viewers it might get swamped with shit but I think it'd be cool that sounds like a cool idea I don't know how I would moderate it properly or um, I don't know if moderate is the right word actually vet it properly because I, I could launch anything you know what I mean like I would almost have to play the games first before I play the game so I don't know how I would properly do that but it's a cool idea Do you think this game is more about the small stories of the individual anomalies rather than the overarching plot? Because the details of the game seem really intriguing to me, but the main storyline just feels, yeah, it feels Resident Evil secret. Yeah, I don't know where this is going or what it's trying to do. I'm intrigued, so I, I want to keep playing for the story, but the gameplay is really boring me and I, I just don't see it concluding well. Usually when you're in a place where you have no idea what's really going on, the conclusion isn't really that satisfying, in my experience. There have been times where it's not the case, but... Yeah. I also really don't give a shit about her brother because I don't know her brother. I don't even know if her brother even really exists, you know? So... For all I know, this Polaris person being his, like, poisoner mind and is just making her do all this shit. Like, I, I really don't care. And by extension, I don't really care about Jesse yourself either. I'm just more about the facility and um, the objects and stuff right now. Okay, let's talk to him now. Thanks for bringing down that, whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is the harsh, truth. but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. 
So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Black Rock Processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. The good news is, it's right down the hall. The bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. I never asked for this. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Okay then. All right, I think we're gonna stop it here because it's been just over three hours. We just passed the three hour mark and I'm really trying to keep on that limit for now. Um, I think we're probably just gonna finish this game because uh, we're we're into it now and I think we should probably finish it in two more streams. Does that sound about right to anyone who's finished it in chat? Maybe three? So we'll finish it next week. And so next stream is probably gonna be on Tuesday and we'll stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, it's possible it might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll see, uh, but it's definitely not going to be tomorrow. So, yeah, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, remember the deal. Maybe doing this, game jams I, I, using uh, itch.io. Hmm. Like looking through game jams or or, or hosting one? I've, I don't think hosting one would, would, would do all that well or that much, but um, looking through them, maybe. Uh, thank you, the disappointing one, for the new sub. With Prime, welcome to Prime Time, the dis disappointing one. Thank you very much. The side stuff is good too. Hmm. So I don't know, am, am I missing side stuff or does it give me side stuff as I run around? Because so far I've gotten side quests and I've done them all. But uh, it doesn't have... Um, I don't think I've, I've, I've found a side quest without being told that it's there first, right? Maybe not. I don't know. There's more in the janitor's office periodically. Okay, maybe I should go back there. Hmm. What's the best way to get notified of streams these days? Uh, I'm not really doing Twitter or Discord. I'm just hoping that Discord, sen uh, Twitch sends out um, a notification, which I think it does, doesn't it? I don't know how you guys know when I'm live. Uh, I don't really want to like tweet it up, but I could start doing at here's again on the Discord. The Discord's frozen right now, uh, apart from one of the chats, but. Uh, it's still active if you want to join it and you can you can get like the notification as long as it's not muted Joe I hate to ask what you play such and such, and such but do you know about how about your turn to die? I think someone said that the other stream didn't they? Yeah I want to watch so bad but I'm playing through the game right now and Joe's further than I am. We're about to stop so don't worry We're, we're about to close the stream <laughs> Maybe I'll maybe I should just do the, the Discord notification anyway. Um, what do most other streamers do? Because I don't I follow some people who stream and I don't really see them doing tw tweets all the time. Hey, I'm live. Hey, I'm live. Sometimes, but not always. I dream about the day we're going to hear the zoo joke again. I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They had nothing there. All they had was one animal. It was just a dog. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for stopping by for the stream. It's nice to see so many people here when uh, the stream's just so sporadic and just coming back. Thank you for that. 
Um, if anyone wants to think of another game that would be good after this that's uh, somewhat new and is only for a couple streams, then I'm open to, to suggestions. But please make sure that they're not really story, story heavy games, like double story there. Because uh, if they're really story heavy games, I'd, ra I'd rather them we play them later. Whereas stuff like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, I don't think that's good for doing three hours at a time. If we're going to go back into those games, I want to play them like five hours at a time, get them done, pre stream pretty much every single day. Um, but if anyone has any short game suggestions of things that just recently came out, just send me a, a suggestion on Discord. But I'm, I'm on the lookout for games that I wanted to play over the past couple of months anyway. But we'll see. Anyway, see you guys later. You're done. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs>